the snarf. Hi guys, and welcome to a new series of video that I've been wanting to do for a while now. I'm going to end up calling this the Dividend Digest, and basically it is just me picking different stocks or holdings or funds that I either hold or I've researched and going over what their dividends look like, what they pay out, and what kind of returns you can see by investing within these uh, different dividend stocks and funds. So if you don't know what a dividend is, basically when you purchase shares of a company or a fund, they will quarterly or monthly or semi-annually pay you back for actually owning those shares. Um, it's a certain percentage of the stock price at the time, and then that goes right into your investment account and you can choose to reinvest it into your portfolio or hold it as cash. Most of us dividend investors choose to reinvest that. Um, that way you can just see more gains up on top of those dividends you're already gaining. So just it's like compound interest, so to speak. So today, for this video, I have chosen BlackRock Capital Investment Investment Corp. So let's pull up Chrome here. Uh, this is the M1 Finance platform. This is where I do a lot of my research on different stocks and funds just to get an idea of what we're looking at. So here we are, BlackRock Capital Investment Corp. BKCC is the ticker. So if you're looking for this on your own, you can look it up that way and get all the information for it. So here's a brief overview of what the stock looks like right now. In today's market, it is $5.90 per share. Uh, let's see. And then here's what we like to look at, the dividend yield. So 12.12% dividend yield. So what does that mean? So basically, each year for holding this, uh, for holding at least a share of this stock, you will receive back 12.12% of this price. Now, that can sometimes be deceiving because I mentioned that it's paid out quarterly or yearly. So they then divide this up. If it's quarterly, divide this number by four and that's how much of this stock you would receive each quarter. If it's yearly, you get this all at once. If it's monthly, divide this by 12 and then that's how much of the stock you would receive monthly. Now BlackRock Capital Investment, let me just read a little bit about them. Uh, they are investment management enterprise. It means they focus on making income and capital appreciation by investing in debt and equity instruments. So we can read about BlackRock on their website. M1 Finance was nice enough to give a link to that. So here it is. Uh, it basically tells about the stock, the company, what their dividend yield looked like, and all that stuff. But for today's purposes, um, I wanted to do a little bit of a show and tell or an example of how you can really make some money off of this dividend stock or dividend stocks in general. So I've made a spreadsheet. And again, this is a, this is a fund or a, a stock that I actually hold in my M1 finance portfolio. So I am actually um, utilizing this. This isn't just me blowing smoke and telling people to go do this. I actually own shares of BlackRock. So I've made a spreadsheet. So let's break this down. So say you want to invest in BlackRock Capital Investment uh, Corporation. So in this example, I said it was $5.95 per share. Yearly dividend yield is 12.12%. So if we look at that, that's just saying for owning one share, you will get back 72 cents basically from the company back into your account at the end of a year. Now BlackRock currently pays out quarterly. So I went ahead and divided that by four. So each quarter for owning one share, you'd get 18 cents. So that doesn't seem like much, you know, one share. Yeah, 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 that, that's tiddlywinks as far as change go. But let's see what happens if you were to invest $1,000 into BlackRock. So here's your $1,000. This is your initial investment. You would get a little over 168 shares of BlackRock. Okay, so uh, here I took the shares again. Uh, share numbers are in this nice light blue. Anything that's money is in the green, in case you didn't get that. So, this formula, uh, what I did was I said 168 shares, and then let's just say um, that times the 18 cents per quarter. So each quarter, because you invested $1,000, you'd get $30.30 back just for owning BlackRock uh, stock. 
So that, that's just money that you're guaranteed just for owning them. So let's see how much that is per year. So I took the $30.30 and then I just multiplied it by four, uh, by four, four quarters in a year. So that is $121.20 that you would get back in dividends for initially investing $1,000 into BlackRock for the year. So what do you do with those dividends? Well, I, with all my dividends, I reinvest them. I do not hold them as cash. I like to have them working as hard as possible. So if we were to just simply reinvest those dividends and not add more money into the investment account, meaning we're not purchasing more of the stock, we are just letting the dividends reinvest and let them work. So with those extra dividends that we earned, the $121.20, we could purchase about a little over 20 more shares of BlackRock. Cool. So let's add that to the 168 shares we already have. Now we have 188 shares, or a little over 188 shares of BlackRock. Okay, awesome. Let's see what that would look like after year two. So each quarter you'd get really close to $34 now in dividends. So that is about $3.60 more than you're getting before. Again, that may seem like tiddlywinks, but um, every little bit counts. So then off of that, how much would we get each um, for the year in the second year because we reinvested our dividends? So now we'd be getting $135.89 yearly from our dividends. So this is all from just our initial investment of $1,000 and then reinvesting the dividends. So that is pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good return for not having to invest more money. But if you are wanting to invest more money, I did the calculation on that as well. So year two, while adding more money into your account. So say year one, you've invested $1,000. You reinvested your dividends. But let's say that you wanted to add another 1,000 this year. So altogether, you've invested the $2,000, 1,000 here, 1,000 here, as well as the dividends from, from year one. So now you would have around 356 shares of BlackRock. So that is now paying $64.27 monthly, and, or I'm sorry, quarterly, so $64.27 quarterly, and yearly that would be $257.09. So you can kind of see how powerful dividends can be and how quickly they add up. It's really like compounding interest. The more you put in, the more you get back, the more you reinvest, the larger returns you're going to see. So dividends are definitely the way I like to invest. I don't like to invest in growth stock. I think it's too volatile. The dividends aren't good on stock generally. Um, they're usually like one or two percent, so that's very low. And you can't really predict what the dividend yield is gonna be. It's ever changing. So with dividend stock like BlackRock, um, it's been around for a while. They've always paid dividends um, out. They've never really had too much of a change. So you can just see that um, the growth potential here is great. The more money you put in, the more, and you're going to get back. And this is basically passive income, as I like to call it. So the goal for every dividend investor is to have enough of initially or eventually, I guess I should say, invested that you can basically supplement your income through uh, these quarterly, monthly, and yearly dividend um, income streams. So that's the plan. This is just showing two years. Now, two years in the world of investing is a pretty short lifespan. And only investing $1,000 or $2,000 is a pretty low amount if you're really looking to get back some gains. But again, this was just sort of an example. I think $1,000 um, to prove a point is a pretty good base point. I'm probably going to use this type of example with other funds in the future. So hopefully this sort of showed you what you can expect from these dividend yielding stock and funds. And hopefully in the future I'll be able to review different uh, companies, different stocks, different funds, and just give you an idea of what they do and what their performance is in the future.
again, the numbers are ever changing, you know, stock price changes, maybe their dividend yield percent will change a little bit, but it's not going to be significant like a normal stock. So take that with a grain of salt. And again, you're not going to necessarily just invest 1000, you can invest however much or little you want. So keep that in mind. As always, thanks for watching guys. If you haven't already, comment, like, and subscribe to the channel and I will get more of these types of videos out for you in the future. Thanks.